Hi, we're gonna swap some motor mounts today in this thing, or at least try to. That's what this is for. It's not because we're taking the engine out for an LS swap. Or is it? I guess you'll never know. You'll have to stick around for the rest of the video to find out. But we are at least gonna swap some motor mounts because this thing moves about two inches inside of here just because it wants to. <laughs> never done this before, but I think the easiest way is we're gonna utilize these little hooks on the engine that are pre-installed from the factory and just lift this up to support it. And then we'll swap the mounts out as we go. And I'm gonna take you guys along with this as we go. But uh, yeah, motor mounts out, let's get them out. All right, so what I do know is that they're kind of right there. Oh, there we go. These are the engine mounts. Obviously there's two bolts, one here and one there, but there's also one directly on the other side of the stud and we have to remove the actual mount from the engine in order to remove the isolators. So we gotta do that on both sides. And um, yeah, we're just gonna start walking through it. Some of these are gonna be easier than others. You'll probably have to find a way to move this wiring harness a little bit for the driver's side one. And for me, my, there's a, a mount right here that bolts to the engine mount, but mine's already broken, so I'm just going to flex it out of the way. Okay, so it was really hard to show you guys the process. It was pretty straightforward getting that out, that out, that one, and then that one I did have to use like a little, uh, you know, swivel doodad. And then these ones were pretty straightforward with a uh, ratchet wrench like that guy. So I'm gonna pop those out and motor mount will be out. So we've got two motor mounts here, one new, one used. This one came out of the passenger side right over there and uh, check this out. So new, it's supposed to be solid, no movement. This one, we can go like this, we can go like this and we can go like this. We can just do whatever we want. My engine was jumping around like crazy. With that being said, uh, the, ol the only thing is to do the steps in reverse, bolt the new mount onto the upper mount and bolt everything back onto the engine. And that's pretty much it. Same for the other side. So we're gonna do that quick, good to go. We have one new engine mount installed and one crappy engine mount installed. So we're going to uh, now obviously swap out the old one because we don't wanna leave that one in there. All right, so this one's actually a little trickier for some reason to get out. Uh, from the other side, I have jacked up the engine even more to give me room, which uh, you'll want to do once you unbolt all this stuff. And I've actually flipped this upside down. So now I can get access to this bolt right here, and I'm going to zip it off with the impact while it's still in here to try and separate it because I can't, for some reason, I just can't squeeze it out. I think this uh, oil pan protrudes more on this side. And so it's uh, limiting room to drop this out. Whereas this one, all it had was a wiring harness and I could just plop it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just zipped it off with this 17 impact and uh, I was able to pull them apart up in here, just like I was thinking. And it was really easy. They just kind of fell out. So I'm gonna go and get the new one and put both of these back up in there and re-tighten them with this guy. All right, so that little trick worked. Um, kind of have it bolted up already slightly on the engine side. And uh, the only thing you really need to watch out for is the engine dipstick right here. You're gonna have to thread this guy behind it. Um, otherwise, it was pretty straightforward doing kind of what I said. Flip this upside down, tighten that stud from upside down, and then flip it over, and then you can line this stuff up. You might have to pry the engine a little bit one way or the other. Um, Engine hoist is definitely the trick to get all of this done because it will allow it to move and stuff like that. So anyways, going back in and uh, I'm gonna finish putting these, uh, these bolts back on. All right, thank you guys very much for checking out the video. That is how you swap engine mounts on a GX470. Yes, it was probably easier because I had the front differential out, absolutely, but you never know. And I do think it's definitely possible with leaving the front diff in, you just might have to, you might have to finagle it in a little bit different way, like flip it upside down, take it apart, kind of how I did on the passenger side. But those are all the bolts you're gonna need to pull out, okay? And 
you should probably check your engine mounts because they're probably trashed. Thanks for checking the videos out. If you like these style, let me know what you like. If you don't like it, let me know. Let me know down below so I can make these better and more informative to you. Sometimes it's a little hard to film stuff solo, so I do the best I can. But with that being said, thanks for checking out the channel. If you haven't already liked, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, we'll see you next time. I wonder if I can like plank on this thing. <laughs> Wow. Oh, that's hard. Ah! Tire. This is a different tire. We should probably get this not on this truck, but over there on the drift car. Oh.